Hi, and thanks for um, popping by and watching our video. What we're going to discuss today is the SEO tactic known as siloing. Um, now, siloing greatly amplifies the effect of all of your SEO. And what it what it means is not only do you hit the the headliner keywords, but you actually hit the buying keywords, the the what what are called the long tail search words, the ones that the customers put in. Yes, you don't get the volume, but they tend to put them in when they're actually looking at making a, a, a buying decision. Um, they they've already decided what it is they want to have. Now that they're they're off to go and find out where to get it from. So what we're going to do, we're going to just put into Google a search for wholesale clothing. Now this is what we call a headliner keyword. This is a word that we started targeting last word, last year for a brand new client in April 2010. Um, as you can see, this is the client up here, qclothing.co.uk. We we got them to first place in about, I think from memory, it was about six to eight weeks, um, which was way ahead of what we'd actually anticipated. Um, and at that point, the client said, excellent, move on to some other keywords. And Normally, we, we kind of would have done, but this is an extremely competitive marketplace. So what we actually did was we, we really focused on siloing, which I, I will show you shortly how, how we go about. Sorry about that. Um, and what that actually led to was not only we now first place, but if you look, we've got supplemental links here. Um, now, this is what's referred to as an authority link. Um, so, so in the eyes of Google, not only is this site... Uh, sufficiently highly ranked to be to be up there in first place, um, but it actually says, well, not not only is it it better than all of the other sites for this particular search, but all of these other pages are relevant as well. So you you might want to go to the home page to look for wholesale clothing, but you could actually be looking for one of these supplemental searches. So that Google's actually giving you the links to go straight to them right away. And obviously that's worth its weight in gold. If, if you consider that um, around about 52% of all the clicks this page will generate will go here. And on a standard page, this link down here would get about 16% of the clicks and this one about 8%. And down here, fourth and downwards, forget about it. To, to be honest, you're going to get dribs and drabs of traffic. You're not going to get a huge amount. Hey. Okay, so in a normal situation with first, second and third place, that's how it would break down. When you've got an authority link here, these figures change quite drastically. Where normally a first place site would get 52% and second place would get 16 If the first place site is an authority site, all of a sudden we're looking at 75% of the natural clicks this page generates go here, to one of these links here. This poor chap sitting down in second is now sitting on 10% of the clicks. 10%. So if 200 people a day search for this, which instantly a lot more than 200 do, if 200 people a day search for this, this guy in second place, who normally you'd be quite happy with second place, he's going to get 20 clicks. Now, uh, a normal site works on a 1% to 2% conversion, so that means one every five days he might get a sale from this keyword. Meanwhile, this chap up here, our client, is hogging all of the glory. But that, that's by the by, that, that's just a little bit of information that may help. Okay, so let's click through to this site and see exactly what we've done that, that might help. Firstly, um, if you look up here in the meta title tag, obviously that's what we just saw on Google. In fact, if we go back, I'll just highlight that. Okay, so you can see that that's the meta title and this instantly section here. This is the meta description as well. That's, that's the bit that doesn't show on their page but is in the underlying code. Um, and we will be releasing a video shortly that goes into meta tags and exactly what you can do to help. But anyway, let's go back to the site. So straight away, the meta title, yes, we've got wholesale clothing up there. We've also got a couple of other keywords. Um, first thing you'll notice about this site is it's not particularly content heavy in terms of text. And that, that can be a problem. Google loves content. It loves to know exactly what it is it's looking at. So what, what we did was we added a, a paragraph up here just to give Google a rough idea of what it is they're looking at. But again, content is another video. Here we're looking at siloing and how it can help. So every single page on this site is going to have this menu going across the top here. It's also going to have this sideways menu. In, in fact, everything across the top and down the left-hand side is going to be pretty much static right the way through the site. 
that's one way that we tell Google that this bit inside the blue border is the main content of the site. That's the bit we want them to pay attention to. We want them to follow the links everywhere else, but once they're on a page, pretty much we want them to ignore what's there and just look at the main body of the page. So let's, let's pick a category. Let's go to menswear. Okay, so menswear. Obviously, it's a, it's a category of the products they sell. You notice up here we've got an H1 tag, although it doesn't look like an H1 tag. Um, we've restyled it so it fits in with the design. If you're not quite sure what H1 tags are, go and have a look on flossy.co.uk. We've got a whole article about H1, H2, H3, and again, shortly we will be releasing a video that explains this in more detail. Um, and then down here, the, the first actual normal text on the page is again the main keyword that we're looking for, men's wholesale clothing. And then we've got two or three paragraphs that just say what it is. You know, it elaborates a little bit more, gives some more keywords, gives us another bite at cherry, gives us something else that Google might look for. So if the customer types in a slight variant of the search, we've still got a chance of ranking. Now, within this category, we've got subcategories. And like most e-commerce sites, there we go, you've got clickable links that will take you through. You'll also notice down on the left-hand side, this menu is now expanded with all of those clickable links included. And if you look at the top of the page, we've now got a breadcrumb. Again, they, these are all fairly standard things, but they're, they're things that are very, very easy to ignore or to get wrong. And when you do get them wrong, or if they are ignored, they're things that all of a sudden become an issue because you aren't maximizing the effect of what, what you're putting onto your site. You're doing all of the hard work. You're not doing the easy little couple of things that you can do that are really going to make the difference to your business. Um, now, if you've got a designer, these are things that you want to be saying to your designer. Can you make absolutely sure that my site functions in this way? If your designer can't do that, give us a call. We'll, we'll show you how to do it. Or we'll talk to your designer and talk them through how to do it. You know, it, this isn't about us taking your money off you. This is about us showing you how things can be done relatively easily to have a good effect. So just out of curiosity, let's open a new tab and go to Google. .co.uk because we're in the UK and so the main title here is men's wholesale clothing again this is going to be quite an important keyword for this customer because it's a huge chunk of their there we go men's wholesale clothing I've obviously searched for it before and there we go this is our client here first place no authority here but their first place and their second place and if you click this they're also third fourth Whoop, let's go down one two three four five six so the top seven positions are all theirs let's okay so this is a natural results let's hide all of the queue clothing results so this poor chap sitting down here in third if he wants to get into first place he's actually got to overhaul not just one page he's got to overhaul seven different pages and we, we, if we go back to the site I'll show you how this is achieved because this breadcrumb, this menu, and these supplemental links, they're, they're all saying to Google, these are things that are very tightly themed around this subject. These, these are all pages that all relate to men's wholesale clothing. So if we go into, let's go into men's knitwear. What you'll notice now, over here we've highlighted the current category. So in terms of siloing, if you, if you think about grain silo, you might have three, four next to each other, but what goes into each silo is a specific type of grain. And that, that's kind of where the idea comes from. So we're now in a silo that's menswear, and then we've got a sub-silo that's men's knitwear. So all of these products in here all relate to this category. And in e-commerce, e if, if you think about it logically, when you set your site out, it, it kind of makes sense anyway. What your customers are searching for is the way that you're categorizing things. It doesn't always work out like that, but hopefully with a little bit of lateral thinking, you can kind of crowbar your main keywords into the layout of your site. So again, let, let's go check. So up here, we've got men's wholesale clothing, men's knitwear. So if we put, um, I don't know, men's knitwear, wholesale clothing. Okay, so now we're looking at a very specific search. Not many people every day are going to be searching for this, but the ones that are, they're going to be people who are going to buy. Oh, and actually, we, we, we're letting the side down here. Look, we're, we're second place. Um, the, these people up here, they're doing quite well. You'll notice their URL's got the keyword in, so's ours. Um, yeah, maybe we need to go and do some work on that this week. Hopefully you will look at this in a week's time and we'll, we'll have turned this one around because I don't like being second for any of our clients. Every single keyword we're going after, many SEO companies will say 10th. Get, get you into the top 10. 
if you think about the chap in 10th, um, so what are we looking at? 52, 16%, 8%. From here downwards, everyone's getting half. So this guy's getting fourth. This guy's getting 2%, 1%, half a percent. Let's go down half a percent, quarter of a percent, an eighth of a percent. This, this chap's getting, in theory, 16th of a percent of all the people searching for this keyword. Um, I don't know about you, I wouldn't be happy saying to one of our clients, haven't we done well? We're getting you a sixteenth of a percent of everybody searching for your phrase. As far as we're concerned, th third place is kind of where it's at. Uh, third place, we're getting somewhere. Second place, excellent. First place, we're still not going to take a foot off the gas because we, we want that authority link. So th this chat being in second, really not happy with it. Anyway, that that's by the by. Come back to the site and... Again, you'll see, as I said, we've we've highlighted where you are. Up here, we've still got men's knitwear in there. The title's still got men, men's wholesale clothing, then men's knitwear. So we've, we've kind of reinforced where we are. Here we've got whoop, here we've got home, men's wear, men's knitwear. So we, we've got a path for Google to go back up the tree. Now, this is the bit where you, you really need to involve your designer, developer, whoever your tech guy is. When we go into a product, at this point, we do not want Google going back up the category tree. We want them to reinforce that this is all about where, where we want to be. So you'll notice straight away we've lost this left-hand menu. We don't want Google going off into all of the other categories. We want them to stay within this category, really, really pull out the fact that everything related to this page is to do with men's knitwear. So again, the breadcrumb, we've got menswear, men's knitwear. However, what we've done down here is we've put view more items from the men's knitwear category and effectively that's a link back up one stage of the category tree. And it says to Google, you can go back up, but we don't want you going off to women's wear. We don't want you going to maternity wear, all of the different categories this client's got. And then over here we've got next. So click that. Oh look, we're now in the next product within this category. So the chances are Google's going to stay around this area it's going to really crawl all of these products it's going to find all of the products and every single one is very tightly themed to this knitwear if you if you look they've all got the keyword knit wool that you know there, there are lots and lots of things really saying or in fact this one's cotton i use the word will it's knitted cotton either way it's it's relevant what it's saying to google is everything about this site is relevant to this category which is relevant to men's wholesale clothing, which is relevant to wholesale clothing, which is why when you go to Google, type in wholesale clothing, let's lose all of this, which in the end is, is the big traffic generator for this client. There you go, there they are. They've got all their authority links and that's effectively what siloing is. I hope the video helps and good luck. If you do need any advice, drop us an email, come along to the site or give us a call. We're really friendly, happy people, and hopefully this video kind of shows you that we're willing to share our knowledge. Um, I, I personally believe that knowledge should always be freely available. When you pay us to do something, you pay for the service. The knowledge, well, that you, in the end, you could go and find it from somewhere else. I'd rather tell you my way of doing things, be completely open with you, and, you know help you to build your business. In the, in the end, that's the only way we're going to make our business is if yours works. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch the video and I hope it's helped.